East tonight. Brought to you by Oil India Limited. Conquering newer horizons. Welcome to Notice Tonight, the show that decodes the region. I am Wasbir Hussain. With the stage set for the signing of the Naga Peace Accord, apprehension seems to be growing in the neighboring states of Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh, and Assam. The main fear in these three states is over whether the Naga Accord would impact on the territorial integrity and identity of these states and its people. The trigger for such apprehension is the lack of transparency on the possible provisions of the Naga Accord. There are rumors that the Nagas in the region would be granted boundaryless autonomy, which could mean some aspects of, say, Nagas in Manipur could be administered by a new autonomous administrative superstructure. The government of India, following massive protests in Manipur and concerns in Arunachal and Assam, has said the stakeholders in these three states would be consulted before the Naga Accord is signed. This raises the question as to why New Delhi had not bothered to hold serious discussions with the state governments and the civil society in these three states for so long. To discuss the subject and more, I am joined from Dibruger by Takam Tatung, senior advisor and former president of the All Arunachal Pradesh Students Union, in Itanagar, I have National People's Party leader Jarpom Gamling. From Imphal, I am joined by Kuraiza Mathoba, Secretary General of the United Committee in Manipur, and BJP leader Songtam Bijoy also joins me from Imphal. I have in Guwahati, ASU Chief Advisor Dr. Samujal Bhattacharji and Dr. Okhilran Jandatta, well-known commentator and professor at Guwahati University. And our studios, I have senior political leader from Arunachal Pradesh, Arunachal Congress leader and former Home Minister, Mr. James L. Wanglet. But before we begin the discussion, let us listen in to what the Chief Ministers of Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh and Assam has to say on the matter. The political delegation led by me met uh, Honorable Union Home Minister Amit Shahji. And a two other more minister, but m most important is the Amit Shahji. And he assured that without consulting the stakeholders, mainly Manipur, Arunachal, and the Assam, no final decision will be taken. All right, all right. That was that was Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren. Now let us listen to Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister. Pema Khandu. Naga talk definitely. Uh, our uh, recently, the honourable Home Minister, Home Minister, Union Home Minister Amit Shah Ji, has said that all the stakeholders will be consulted, including Arunachal Pradesh. So, exactly, Naga framework, what is happening in the Naga framework? We will take the feedback from the Naga framework. After all party meetings, we will take the feedback from the Naga framework. We will take the feedback from the Naga framework. We will take the feedback from the Naga framework. इंटीग्रिटी और ऑन नेचुरल का जो उसमें किसी भी चीज में हमलोग कंप्रोमाइज नहीं करेंगे। वर्तमान जितु नगा एकॉर्ड के लिए आलोचना सुलिए से और खुमर आए जे जिकने अखंड का प्रकाश कर शे एक हंड्रेड बहुत टेकेट टक बिट्टंग हुए बाबू को तो कर लो लेह आधार दिया आलोचना तो सुलिए से अमी बहुत दिनों पर गंपाइस खुराकीटा कुरी है अगर तो दिनात ये हंड्रेड बहुत सुरान तो हिट धंधा लगा। All right, viewers, you have just heard the three chief ministers, chief minister of Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh, and Assam, pinning lot of hopes on the central government. All three of them said that the central government has assured very, very categorically that they will be consulted. The leadership in these three states, besides the civil society in these three states, will be consulted before the Naga Accord is signed. Uh, I would like to go straight to you. Mr. James Wanglet, uh, Congress leader and former Home Minister of Arunachal Pradesh. Mr. Wanglet, you know, I think nobody wants 
Everybody wants that, uh, you know, there should be a peaceful solution to the Naga problem. Everybody wants an honorable and acceptable solution to the Naga problem. At the same time, would you agree that all the three states, people are anxious because they don't know what, what could the provisions in the accord be? So there is a lot of apprehension and fear. How do you look at it, Mr. Wanglet? Well, <laughs> more than two decades of uh, negotiation is a pretty long <laughs> period of time for negotiation. I believe that there should be a just and <coughs> peaceful settlement. And uh, most of us are well aware that uh, the Naga insurgency is one of the oldest insurgency. Uh, that has taken place even from, uh, they protested in 2018 yeah. and continued so far till now. <laughs> um, I'm delighted to learn about how, you know, Gujaralji started in 1997 the peace accord, and subsequently the various chief, uh, prime minister of India are interested to resolve the Naga issues. Yeah. So if, without resolving Naga issues, I think peace will be very difficult for the Northeast. So we look forward for Prime Minister Modi ji to really work on it and finish the negotiation and settle it forward. At for the all. same time, the interest of the three states also needs to be protected. That is what the civil society and stakeholders are saying, Mr. Wangle. True. Um, the country's entire country as a such, you know, we have such a diverse and yet unity. We all have to share the burden of, you know, resolving uh, issues that is uh, eating the people of the entire right. Northeast. Okay. So I believe on that. Right. Uh, Mr. Kuraiza Mathoba in Imphal. Mr. Kuraiza Mathoba, your organization, the United Committee Manipur, as well as the Mera Paibis and many other organizations are at the forefront of a massive agitation already started. Now, my question is, the central government has said that they are going to talk to the chief ministers and other stakeholders. So in view of this, why is the agitation in Manipur still going on? Are you not willing to talk to the prime minister and his representatives? <clears throat> well, uh, first of all, uh, the, the, the clarification from the uh, Home Minister's side came only when uh, the prolonged peace talks has been finally concluded. Yeah. And uh, we were expecting that the discussion or the consultation could have been done before, much before, earlier before that, so that all our aspirations could have been accommodated. But now, now that uh, the interlocutor, Mr. R. N. Ravi, has already uh, expressed that uh, no further discussion will be held with the NSN IM or the working uh, committee of the NNPG. Uh, so it seems like uh, their intention is to convince, just to convince on the agreed terms which have but, already been, you but, know, but, but, but concluded. Kurajam, hold uh, on. But, we, but, but, Mr. Athoba, is your organization, will your organization talk to the government of India if you get a formal invitation? Will you talk or not? Definitely, definitely. We have expressed it to the Honorable Chief Minister as well, as well but we just, we just put one condition to the government, state government, that when, when the invitation comes from the Ministry of Home Affairs, it should accompany, it should accompany with the set of agendas, the items to be discussed, and the points which are concerning Manipur state uh, in, the peace, in the peace talks, right. in the concluded so, peace talks. So the breaking news so that's now, our condition. the breaking story at this point in time is that the United Committee Manipur is willing to talk to the government of India as and when they get a formal invitation, but the condition put forward was there, by... Was one small clarification. One yes. small clarification. Yes, carry on. Carry I'm on. not just representing United Committee. I'm, I'm not just representing United Committee Manipur. I am representing Kokomi as an assistant coordinator of representation. All right. All right. So the Please Kokomi, the, Kokomi yeah. the umbrella, umbrella yeah. organization, which uh, Kuraiza Mathoba is representing at this point in time, the Kokomi is ready to talk with the government of India, provided it gets a formal invitation. But the condition is that the agenda has to be clearly mentioned and the concerns of Manipur also has to figure in the agenda. That's what 
Mr. Atobai is saying. I will so come to you, Mr. So that we could Mr. discuss and do some homework. Yes, yeah. I will come to you, Mr. Chongtom Bijoy. Mr. Chongtom Bijoy, since you are from the BJP, you have a lot to answer. Let me ask, let me go to other panelists and then I will come to you so that you can give a response. Let me go to Jarpum Gamling in Itanagar. Uh, and I'll, I'll also go to Mr. Takam Tatum, which was standing by in Dibruga. Mr. Jarpum Gamling, wh why are the concerns among the people of Arunachal Pradesh? Your chief minister has very categorically said that he has been assured by the center that nothing will happen without consultations with the state government. Are you convinced with this assurance? What do you personally think? Jarpum. See, yeah, <clears throat> thank you so much. Uh, see, insofar as Arunachal is concerned, I think Chief Minister has stated, and you know, somewhere in uh, end of 2014 also, you know, I had met interlocutor Sri R N Ravi, now the Governor of Nagaland. Personally, I interacted with him uh, on this subject twice. So I am convinced that he is going to do what he has stated, and people of Arunachal will be taken into confidence. So there's no doubt about the intention and the action so far. And going forward, I think uh, it's in the interest of the nation, interest of the Arunachali, Manipur, and Nagaland, that everybody, and including Assam, they, everybody should be consulted. I think I, there's no doubt about that. Okay, uh, I will be going to Dr. Samujal Bhatsharji. I'm coming to you, Akhil Ranjan Datta, right now. But first, quickly, let me go to Dibruga. Uh, Takam Tatung Ji, Takam Tatung is the senior advisor and former president of the Arunachal Pradesh Students Union. Uh, Takam Tatung Ji, what do you think the central government has said that the stakeholders will talk about it? My question is, why did you put so much time? For 22 years, there are negotiations going on. The central government has the first stakeholders in these three states. Why did they not do negotiations with them before? What do you think of them? ये ये लेट देर हुआ है देर जरूर हुआ है लेकिन कुछ मोदी साहब ने अच्छा काम कर रहा है वो आगे बढ़ा रहा है लेकिन अरुणाचल अरुणाचल का जो इश्यूज का बात बोलेगा तो जो चीफ मिनिस्टर पेमा कांडू जी ने जो बोला है क्लियर कट बोला है कि अरुणाचल का जो स्टेट का लोगों से कॉन्फिडेंस जब तक नहीं लेगा मैं मर्जी नहीं बोलेगा तो एज ए पोमर आपसु प्रेसिडेंट हम लोग का स्टेन ये रहा है कि तीरा बन चंगलंग को हमेशा उद्दिष्टव करते हैं लेकिन हम लोग तीरा बन चंगलंग को आपको आदमी जा सकता है लेकिन जमीन एक इंच भी हम लोग नहीं देगा ये अपसू का स्टेन रहा है और अभी जैसे कि ऑटोनोमस काउंसिल देने के लिए जो बात कर रहा है आप ऑटोनोमस काउंसिल देगा भी तो आप थ्रू अरुणाचल गवर्नमेंट का तरफ से देना पड़ेगा डायरेक्ट स्टेट सेंटर नागा नागा गवर्नमेंट का अंदर में नहीं रहना है अरुणाचल गवर्नमेंट का अंदर में अगर हमको ये ऑटोनोमस काउंसिल को देगा तो उसको हम लोग वेलकम करेगा ओके मैं आपके पास दोबारा आऊँगा टकम ताटुंग जी आप बने रही है डॉक्टर अखिल रंजन दत्ता यू नो व्हेनेवर देयर इज अ निगो देयर हैज बीन निगोशिएशन फॉर द पास 22 इयर्स नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज नाउ द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑन द ईव ऑफ साइनिंग द नागा एक्कॉर्ड ब्रेकथ्रू हैज ऑलरेडी बीन अचीव्ड � only now, when there is massive protest in Manipur, is the center saying that we will talk to the stakeholders and the state governments in the three states. Do you think it would have been better had the state government come up with simultaneous talks with the other stakeholders in the Northeast? I think uh, this is very unfortunate. The, the way the things are unfolding is very unfortunate. The central government uh, should understand that in the whole region, there has already been a lot of resistance against Citizenship Act Amendment Bill. Right. People are really, really very apprehensive about the move on the part of the central government. Now, as far as the Naga peace process is concerned, the uh, you know states, but the three, three states had always this apprehension. Even in the earlier NDA government led by, uh, you know, Atal Bihari Basbe, when the move was there yeah. uh, to bring about a solution, there were huge protests throughout the region. Now, the central government should have understood 
that there will be a lot of apprehensions, there will be a lot of resistance, and resistance has come up in Manipur, and that will spread to other two states, uh, I think, very soon. Therefore, I, and the central government had was in an advantageous position because yeah. they have uh, their own governments in all these three states, and they have also been talking about the constitutional safeguards. Now, they have been talking about constitutional safeguards, but uh, when they are trying to take into consider, take into uh, fold, uh, the different civil society organizations, they have been talking to different sections, different stakeholders. Now, at this, on this particular issue, where the territorial integrity of the respective states are okay. concerned, okay. I think this central government should have made it very, very clear, made it, could have made it very transparent, and that could have brought about you know, sustainable peace here. So that's a now, very I important point you are making. The which is, the that is, process that is, which is a, going that on. is an important point. That is an important point yeah. you are making, Dr. Kiran Jandatta. The central government could have made it transparent. Had it been transparent, yeah. perhaps these apprehensions would not have been there. Let me quickly go to Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji, Chief Advisor of ASO. Dr. Bhattasarji, a breakthrough, as we all know, to the Naga problem has been achieved. Agreement could be signed anytime. On one hand, there is a lot of optimism that a long drawn movement is going to end soon. On the other hand, in the three states, there is a lot of fear and apprehension. Over the Naga peace deal, how could it impact on their interest? What do you have to say, Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji? Uh, see, uh, uh, the people of Assam and people of Northeast, we want a uh, peaceful solution of this problem. Uh, the ongoing peace process uh, with all armed groups, that should be uh, resolved by the government of India because there must be a continuous political dialogue with all armed groups so that this, this, all this problem can be solved and uh, there can be a, a peaceful atmosphere for whole of right. the northeastern region. Okay. Uh, so the talks are on with different arms groups. So we want that the, this process should continue with a continuous political initiative so that this problem can be solved uh, honor, in a uh, in a in a in a, in a honourable way. On right. the other hand, uh, regarding the ongoing peace process, Naga peace process, uh, the people of Assam and people of Northeast, we want a permanent solution of this uh, whole issue, and we want that the there should be acceptable, honourable, peaceful solution of this uh, ongoing peace process. Uh, and for that, uh, the, it's a duty of the government of India to make sure the apprehension faced by the people of Assam, Manipur and uh, Urnasal, uh, that can be, that can be okay. removed. And uh, there, 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 is, there is no point of any fear among the uh, people of Assam, uh, Manipur and uh, Urnasal Pradesh. All right. But one thing is very clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, Dr. Samujal Bhattacharji. Let me go to Mr. Songtham Bijoy. Mr. Chongtham Bijoy is the chief spokesperson of the BJP in Manipur. Uh, Mr. Chongtham Bijoy, this is a very critical moment for your party government in uh, Manipur. On one side, you have to, you know, your government at the center is pushing hard to arrive at a Naga solution to the Naga problem, which is a very good thing, which is a very positive development. On the other hand, you have to also deal with the sentiments of the people in Manipur because there is a lot of fears and apprehension. And your chief minister is saying that the central government will talk to you, all the st stakeholders. So what do you have to say, Mr. Shankar Bijoy? Uh, you see, the prime minister has made a very clear announcement on February 26 of uh, 2017 yeah. in a public meeting here that at any cost, the interest of the state, including the territorial integrity, will not be compromised at any cost. Secondly, we made a visit and met him last year. He also made the same commitment that the interest of the people of Manipur, by his word, the interest, it covers everything. Uh, we still firmly believe on his, uh, that announcement. Okay. And moreover, the undue secrecy in the present this uh, peace talk, and uh, some, uh, what is a press leaks from the Naga NSN IM group. At the same time, some contradictory press statements from the interlocutor Sri R N Rabi is causing loss of apprehension and anxiety state. That is what is causing the present unrest at the moment.
So, and so moreover, you are saying, uh, just hold on, uh, uh, Mr. 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 Chongtham Bijoy, mm. you, you are saying that some kind of mm. contradictory statements by the interlocutor, Mr. Arun Ravi, is also one of the reasons for a lot of fear and apprehension. Is that what you are saying? Uh, yes, it has been going for quite some time, that is since 2015. And moreover, uh, you see from the NSN IM leadership also, there are certain statements coming out of which any conclusion has not been made, but still their demands are openly made public. But the common people here, uh, I mean, they tend to believe that it is going to be agreed by the government of India. These are the kind of thing that is causing unrest in our state, and I believe uh, that is the same thing in the other neighboring state also. But so, so our party, Mr. Chongtham Bijoy, you are making, Pradesh, you are making no, no, some, Mr. Chongtham Bijoy, you are making some very important comments there. Uh, let me be clear. You, you, mm. you know, you are saying that uh, Mr. Ravi has been making some contradictory statements. That is what is causing a lot of apprehensions and concerns. Number two, some of the some <laughs> there are rumors yes. floating. There are some. Some, some leakages, some news leakages about the mm. contents of the Naga deal uh, leakage. And whether that is true or not is a different mm. issue, but a lot of things are coming out in the social media and the media. So that is also one of the reasons for apprehension. That is what you are saying. Oh, yes. I'll just give you a recent uh, incident. Everybody here was very anxious that the talk was going to end on 31st October. And just before that, uh, it also came in the media that the NSN IM has walked out of the peace process and uh, lots of news also coming apprehension from Nagaland itself. Then, recently, the most recent statement of Sri, from Sri RN Ravi is that after 31st October, he has again said that there is no a time limit to conclude this talk. In the beginning, see, everybody believed that something was going to be signed on 31st October. Now he's saying that uh, there is not a time frame, time limit to the conclusion of this present peace talk. This is naturally causing lots of, what to say, uncertainty. Right, right. Mr. Mr. Chongtham Bijoy, state. hold mm -hmm. on to your thoughts. I'll come back to you. Mr. Chongtham Bijoy, they're the chief spokesperson mm -hmm. of the BJP, ruling BJP in Manipur, uh, making some very, very important comments. They're saying that uh, contradictory statements by interlocutor R. N. Ravi is creating confusion. He's saying that there has been some leakages. Uh, whether they're genuine leakages or not is a different story. But what are purported to be parts of the agreement, purported to be contents from a possible agreement, that is what is creating confusion. The government has to take a lot of care to see that such kind of leakages, perceived or otherwise, does not take place. We'll go for a short break. Don't go away. I'll be right back immediately after this short commercial. Welcome back. Let me go straight to uh, Mr. Wanglet uh, once again. Uh, Mr. Wanglet, you know, uh, as you have heard, as you have heard the BJP spokesperson uh, in Manipur saying that, you know, governor is making contradictory statements and that something which is, which is seen by people as a leakage of the possible agreement that is also causing a lot of fears. So in this kind of a situation, both the negotiating parties as well as the government have to be extremely, extremely cautious so as nothing gets leaked out and, and that too in a wrong manner so that the people don't get uh, unnecessarily agitated. First and foremost thing I would just like to uh, put my points very clear that uh, the agency that is the intelligence agency of the government of India, uh, three particularly those agencies, have been working over time to try and clinch this particular deal so that there's a peace in the Northeast. Uh, now to say that uh, uh, the, His Excellency the Governor Ravi has been leaking, I think is a far fetch. No, he didn't say Ravi has been leaking. Uh, leakage could be from any side. Whatever it, this, I don't think it's a leakage as per se. It's a, of any, you know. And whether whether it is leakage or mm. perceived leakage, we don't know. So therefore, I I believe that even if there is such things, 
every one of us are saying that we should be part of the, you know, negotiation should have start right from the beginning, maybe 23 years ago. Now, when you're saying that you want to be part of it, now, if something comes up, I don't think there's anything wrong in that, even if they don't take it a total truth. The moment the deal is signed, I think that day is the day where we should be able to uh, accept which is right or wrong. Having said that, um, <clears throat> in every negotiation, everywhere, all over the world, whether you take in America, India, everywhere, there will be people in the, in, in the media who come out with a lot of news, particularly on, like, like for so example. So that is natural. Yeah, that's quite natural. That's quite so natural. So we should not take it, uh, you know, very seriously on this issue. So we should, we should perceive to go for peace, peaceful, you know, final peaceful deal. Okay. That's now, what I feel. Now, uh, 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 Mr. Khuraizam Athoba, Khuraizam, uh, you know, you have heard uh, your fellow uh, uh, leader from uh, Manipur, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, uh, he's saying that, you know, a lot of news are appearing in the media. Some of them are seen to be leaked out from, uh, we, we are not saying whether it is the government, whether it is the, there are so many negotiation teams uh, going on. So, do you think, uh, instead of that, do you think the government of India should have had a proper, straightforward talk with all the stakeholders and discuss things out? Would that have been a better approach, according to you? <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Uh, see, uh, the government of India could have, you know, uh, simply uh, avoid all those kind of leak, leaked or whatever source of information that we have been feeding in for the last so many years. And one instance, if I have to, you know, uh, remember is in the year 2018, when there was a report in the Indian Express saying that uh, they were quoting uh, in an interview of, of the interlocutor, Mr. Arun Ravi. In that, in, in that very report, it was told that uh, they are trying to arrange something like uh, Autonomous Naga Territorial Council inside the territory of Manipur, wherever Nagas are inhabiting. And they are also looking forward to extension of Article 371A of the Nagaland state. And above that, they were also mentioning about the Pan-Naga cultural body inside the territory of Manipur, then Nagaland, uh, Assam and Arunachal yeah. clubbing now, together. Now, let me, let so me ask all you, those informations, yeah, let whether me ask true you, or false. Let me ask you a it question. Was, it, it, let me, it came out through no, no, a national, wait. national, national Kuraizam, media. Wait. Kuraizam, uh, let me ask you yeah. a direct question. I'm asking this direct question. I'm coming to my yeah. other panelists. I'm asking this direct question to both my panelists in Imphal. I'm asking this question first to Mr. Kuraizam, then to Mr. Chongtham Bijoy. Uh, Kuraizam, suppose the territorial boundary of the geographical boundary of the states in the northeast are not disturbed but since there are nagas in manipur suppose the government of india wants to have a pan naga cultural uh, uh, body to to look into certain aspects of naga life in manipur will it be acceptable to you in the kokomi no that's not acceptable Number one, and number two, let me clarify to you very clearly through your channel, Mr. Wasbir, that the issue is not about alteration or change in the territorial boundary. The issue is about protecting and defending the identity of Manipur. And when the identity of Manipur comes in, the word Naga just don't exist in the state of Manipur. Please, please remember that. So you are and saying, you are saying, let the me clarify, these are the sensitive Naga issues. By Kuraizam, the center, Kuraizam during the peace talk and the framework agreement is the biggest mistake the government of India had committed. Okay, these are sensitive. The, and all complications has been coming out of that. Kuraizam, these are sensitive issues. That is the reason why I am clarifying. You are saying, not territory, but identity of Manipur that is more important. Is that what you are saying? Not territory, but identity of Manipur yes, that exactly, is more important. Exactly, exactly. Okay, this is, this is another Identity breaking point. Identity comprises of territorial, social, economic, and, you know, historical right. integrity. <clears throat> and it right. should remain as one political entity, including the administrative integrity. Leader of, one of the leader, top leaders of Kokomi, Kuraiza Mathoba, saying there, it's not just a question of territorial integrity. More than that, it's a question of the Manipuri identity that is important, and for them, the Nagas, Cookies, and the Metes are all Manipuris. So that is what I'm sure uh, Athoba is saying. Exactly. Right. Okay. Now, same question to you, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy. 
Do you agree with Kuraiza Matoba's understanding, what he's saying? Do you agree? Uh, no. You see, we agree to that up to some extent, but with a little variance. Our point is that whatever be the outcome of the, this present peace talk, it should strictly be confined to the geographical boundary of Nagaland. And whatever the government of India wishes to do for some Naga inhabiting in India, it should be strictly through the state government. And moreover, there should not be any scheme of things that might in future make a fracture in the emotional integrity of the various community residing in Manipur. Moreover, through your channel, Mr. Hussain, I want to make one point that the government of India or whoever is conducting this present peace talk, instead of making these selective leaks here and there in a seemingly process to gauge the sentiment of the people, why don't the government of India or the one who is conducting this make it totally transparent? So there is no apprehension in the mind of the people and we can see it as an open book. And moreover, uh, this kind of say contradictory leakages and other things. Secondly, the sudden invitation of the Home Ministry to the stakeholders of Manipur and other neighboring states, this also should not be, they should not be herded into one room and just immediately show the, the yes, this is what we have been agreed upon, what do you say? The proper agenda and what is going to be discussed what it has been agreed upon and what is going to be agreed on should be made completely transparent right. to all the stakeholders. Right. So we Let have time to discuss among ourselves. We have time to agree or disagree. Transparency is the key. Uh, Trans this cannot be done in a day, in a day or in a few hours or in weeks also. But do, do you, we must do have you time agree? To prepare do you our agree? Mind, I'm going to you, Dr. Okhilan Jandatta, but do you agree, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, that it's already too late? It could have been, this process could have been done much earlier. Do you agree on that? Mr. Bijoy, if you can hear me, do you think uh, it oh, is, yes. already, it is, is it already late? Do you think this process of having a transparent talk, open dialogue, open talk could have started much no, earlier? No, no, you see, you see, since, since uh, whether, of course, they did not do it much earlier, but even if they do it now, there should not be a very near deadline. The conclusion of the peace talk should be postponed until we are prepared for the consultation. Okay, that's a very significant, important. Agree or disagree. Very important yeah. point. And this is the most important point so which the BJP leader from Manipur is making. He's the chief spokesman, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, is saying that there should be no deadline to the solution, no deadline to the agreement signing. He's saying that everything should be resolved amicably first and then. Uh, you can sign the agreement. So that is a very important matter. Coming back to you, uh, Professor Okhil Ranjan Datta, you have heard uh, that, uh, you know, the BJP leader from Manipur, uh, you know, has expressed very clearly, uh, along with the Kokomi leader, Mr. Atoba, has expressed very clearly that it's more than a question of territorial integrity. It's a question of the Manipuri identity, number one. Number two, there should be no deadline in signing. There should be no hurry. Everything should be resolved, otherwise things are not going to be all right. That is, that is a general uh, thought, that is a general impression coming out from Manipur. Uh, how do you react? What do you think? Professor Datta. I think they have made, uh, yeah, I, I think they have made some very critical points. They have given some very critical insights. If you look at the politics in Northeast India, autonomy movements in Northeast India, for that matter, statehood or independent state culture is a very, very important component. You cannot think of political solutions without taking into consideration the cultural question. Therefore, that is very, very important. But as far as transparency is concerned, let me make a few uh, important points here. At every point, it, is, it may not be possible on the part of the government to make everything very transparent. It is very critical. Uh, you, you know, you cannot make a, you, you cannot have dialogues in the market. You may have to maintain some secrecy. Therefore, more than transparency, what is important is to take people into confidence. I think take people into confidence. Is take people more into confidence. Yes. Uh, Datta, hold on. I'm coming back to you in a take while. Different stakeholders into the confidence here. 
Absolutely, absolutely. It's a very significant yeah, point. Yeah. Uh, no, no. More than transparency, confidence, no, no. No, no. what matters. No, no. No, no. Mr. Jarpom no, no. Gamling, uh, Jarpom, uh, you know, very significant points. It's a very, very engaging discussion. A lot of significant points are being raised by the panelists in, in Imphal. So, uh, do you agree that, you know, do you agree to some of the points that it's not a question of integrity, it's a, more than a question of the identity. That is what uh, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, the BJP leader from Manipur, is saying. How do you, do you have a different view? How do you look at it? <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> in fact, see, I think situation of Manipur and the reaction from the Manipuri friends are slightly different from what we feel as from Arunachal Pradesh. Number one, see, if you look at the whole Naga insurgency or insurgency in Manipur, they are almost at par. But Arunachal, per se, has been a very, very peaceful state. And, but whatever problem we have, these are all imported, right? And these are cascading from the Naga issues. So therefore, our reaction is slightly different, number one. See, <coughs> let me go back to what earlier the panelists were speaking about the uh, framework agreement also. See, I think when negotiation takes place, when discussion takes place to resolve an issue which has been you know, stuck for decades together, nearly seven, seven, around seven decades. Now, to resolve that, I'm sure, and I'm very, very uh, clear-headed in stating that wisdom of government of India, the people involved in the negotiation, they are well aware of it. And they are very particular about you know, when they want to engage the other section, other stakeholders of this peace process. However, for them, the key stakeholder remains the Naga people in Nagaland. And yeah. Of course, the NSCN, I am yeah. led by NSCN. I am. Okay. So therefore, I think they have taken that as a prime, important point. Number two, in so far as leakage is concerned, I, we are not sure about the leakages. We are not but sure. Yes. In any kind of negotiation and discussion at highest level, you, you know, we do, you know, do a deliberate leakage also to test the water. You know, what kind of reaction? Deliberate leakage to test the, the water is also possible. So Very these true. It's a natural process, like Mr. Wang. Uh, yeah. Yeah, possible. So, like Mr. Wanglet said, you know, these are natural things, and you know, and we should not take it to heart. But prime point here is the issue of resolving the Naga problem. See, as a, as a, as a fellow northeastern people, sister states, okay. like be it Manipur or Assam or Nagaland, I think <clears> we should also put our head together and support right. the initiative of the government of India right. in the, trying to resolve point, it. Because we have, in so these far, many decades, absolutely, not only we have lost. Jarpom, hold Not on. Only we Jarpom, I'm coming back to you. Very important points Not you are only, making. Yeah. Very important points okay. you are making there. Jarpom, I'm coming back to you in a minute. Uh, you know, the, the take home, the takeaway so far in this discussion is that the BJP in Manipur is, first of all, saying that, uh, you know, there should be no deadline in the negotiations. There is no hurry to resolve the issue. Everything, everyone, the talks should, talks with the stakeholders should be done. Seriously, there should be an amicable resolution. Concerns has to be addressed. And only after that, the signing should be done. So no deadline. That is the point which the BJP leader uh, is, uh, is saying from Manipur. And also second time, more than territory, it is the, it is the identity of Manipur that is more important. That is what uh, Kurai Zamathoba has said. Yes, uh, Okil Ranjan Dutta, very quickly. So, so, so what I am trying to suggest is this, you know, forget about the other organization, civil society organization. If you look at the NEDA, you know, none other than NEDA coordinator has also, you know, differentiated himself from what the Nagaland Chief Minister has been telling. You know, Nagaland Chief Minister in a tweet <coughs> has uh, expressed a lot of optimism. There was a mood of celebration. And NEDA coordinator says that nothing substantive has happened and we have nothing to celebrate right at the point. What I'm suggesting is that there is disunity among the alliances of the ruling coalition itself. That makes the people more confused. Okay, we, we, will, we will go for another short break. But before that, before that, I will come back to you again, Takum Tatung Ji. Takam Tatung Ji, uh, you know, now he is saying that, you know, 
सॉल्यूशन के लिए डेडलाइन नहीं होना चाहिए ये बीजेपी नेता का खुद का कहना है मणिपुर का वरिष्ठ बीजेपी नेता चौंगथम बिजोर का ये कहना है कि ये डिस्कशन में कि आपका जो है डेडलाइन नहीं होना चाहिए सब स्टेक होल्डर्स के साथ अच्छी तरह से बात हो, होना चाहिए पहले सॉल्यूशन रिजोल्व करना चाहिए उसके बाद ही एग्रीमेंट साइन करना चाहिए आपका क्या मानना है आपका क्या रिएक्शन है हाँ डेडलाइन देना नहीं चाहिए उसको थोड़ा आगे बढ़ाना चाहिए डेडलाइन को देने से चीज जो है बहुत बड़ा लो लो इन ऑर्डर का प्रॉब्लम निकलेगा और और एक एक चीज हमारा कंफ्यूज है कि गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया जब नागालैंड में भी गवर्नर रहता है सारा जम्मू और कश्मीर में अभी गवर्नर भेज दिया है नागालैंड को सिर्फ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इतना क्यों प्यार करता है हम लोग को भी प्यार करो हम लोग भी अरुणाचल लोग असम मणिपुर सारे लोग भी इंडियन है नागा भी इंडिया के अंदर में रहता है कोई दूसरा कंट्री में तो नहीं रहता है फिर उनका सिर्फ क्यों बात को ज्यादा गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सीरियस लेता है तो उसको भी सीरियसली uh, स्टडी करने का है ये कमिटी और गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का जो भी रिसोर्सेस पर्सन है जो रो डिपार्टमेंट है वो सही ढंग से उसको वर्कआउट करेगा तो ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं है उसको सही ढंग से वर्कआउट किया जा सकता है ओके okay. ओके आपका सही कहना है लेट मी गो टू डॉक्टर समुजल भट्ट सर जी डॉक्टर समुजल भट्ट सर जी द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज ओनली नाउ सेइंग दैट यू नो डिस्कशंस विल हैपन बट डू यू डू यू एग्री दैट गवर्नमेंट इंडिया शुड हैव यू नो टेकन दिस इनिशिएटिव लॉन्ग बैक बिकॉज द डिस्कशन इटसेल्फ हैज बीन गोइंग ऑन फॉर 22 इयर्स डॉक्टर समुजल भट्ट सर जी यस यस बिकॉज इट वाज द इट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू हैव डायलॉग विद द uh stakeholder that is the uh, assam government uh, manipur government and orissal government and other stakeholders uh, of the three states uh, uh, it is the duty and uh, of the uh, central government uh, they could have uh, that process earlier but one thing is very clear that uh, uh, the we want a peaceful solution of the whole naga issue uh, and we want a acceptable honorable Uh, right peaceful solution so that peace can exist in nagaland and also in other parts of the northeastern region right okay uh, okay that is that is an imp- interesting point that you are making what's the road ahead now then samujal bhatt sir ji do you think student and civil society groups in these three states should make efforts to go and talk to the counterparts in nagaland and try and possibly try and remove the fears what do you think dr bhatt sir ji see uh, already uh, the north east student organization uh, we had in taking initiative uh, with all the student body um, and we are continuing to have this uh, process not for this particular issue for other issues so right? that is the peoples to peoples contact and peoples to peoples relationship and that process was on and the process is on but for, for regarding that particular issue uh, two things are there one regarding the talks with other arms group that should continue and there should be a continuous political in- initiative on the part of the government of india so that this problem can be solved permanently uh, peacefully okay on the issue of the ongoing peace process with uh, on the regarding the naga issues the people of northeast people of assam we want a permanent solution peaceful solution honorable solution of this naga yes. issue everybody so wants that peace that. can yes. exist in nagaland and other parts of the northeastern region that's very important and uh, now it's the duty of the government central government to take uh, continuous initiative so did the the ongoing peace process the of the with the naga uh, leaders can be resolved uh, peacefully honorably in acceptable way on the other hand the uh, the peace can exist in other parts of the northeastern region the fears which was which was there in the uh, minds of the uh, people of assam and manipur and uh, arunachal pradesh that should be removed by the government of india it's a duty of the government of india okay okay uh, yes uh, mr wanglet uh, you are plan- you you are trying to say something yeah this uh, you know to postpone this agreement i i mean signing of agreement i think is a very dangerous why i'm saying is that many of you don't know the people of tirap and chalang and longding are facing lot of problems because we are the one who are getting the burnt of the, uh, the you know this insurgency problems and that particular area was one of the best state uh, district in the whole of arunachal pradesh today we have 1.3% in the secretariat as an employment and the amount of people the leaders have been killed my three four brothers have been also killed by this insurgency problems i would love to have this insurgency problems solved resolved as fast as possible so that peace can prevail in thai northeast and the people of tirap and chalang and longding will also grow 
unless peace comes in, I'm afraid the people of Tirab and Changlung will be in tremendous okay. uh, uh, what's okay. called pressure. Okay. Uh, that is that is a point. Uh, uh, Takam Tatung ji, your uh, last comment? Do you believe that you know uh, the Arunachal has a lot of impact? Hai. So Naga Isu ka saath bahut uh, Arunachal ke interest jode huye hai. Wang Tatung ji. Actual बोलने से Naga जो है तीरप चंगलंग लॉन्गडिंग में जो प्रॉब्लम करते हैं वो वो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का प्री फ्लंट जैसा हमको लगता है क्योंकि ये जो नागा का जो एनिशन आयम को सही ढंग से वो नेगोशिएट करने के लिए हमरा और ना चल टीरप चंगलंग लॉन्डिंग को वो तंग करते हैं अदरवाइज नहीं तो नहीं तो हमको सही ढंग से बॉर्डर को सील किया जा सकता है सही ढंग से हमको प्रोटेक्शन दिया जाता है ऐसे नहीं देता है जैसे हाल ही में असेंबली इलेक्शन में ये एमएलए एमएलए का बच्चा 10 11 लोगों को एक साथ मार देते हैं एक्स एमपी को मार देते हैं वंचा राज को मार ऐसे करके यहां पे हम लोग को दरात साइको कराते रहते हैं लेकिन वो स्टन बेल्ट में पर्टिकुलर तिरप चंगलंग लॉन्डिंग में वो करते रहते हैं लेकिन उसको सही ढंग से वो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया अगर चाहेगा तो हमको अच्छा प्रोटेक्शन दे सकता है और सिर्फ नागा को प्यार क्यों कर रहा है हमको प्यार नहीं करेगा कल इसका रिटेलेशन क्या होगा उसको भी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया भी सही ढंग से देखना है और मैं, अभी मैं, का जो कमेटी है हाँ कमेटी है वो सही ढंग से उसको स्टडी करना है जी 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 आ, मैं आई लुक एट इट स्लाइटली डिफरेंटली इट आई थिंक इट विल बी रॉन्ग टू से डेट वाई लव ओनली दागाज दैट इज नॉट रियली द इशू वी ऑल वॉन्ट a peaceful, acceptable, and honorable solution to the Naga problem. There is no true opinion about it. We all need, we all pray, and we all hope uh, that the Naga issue is resolved amicably and to the acceptance of all sides soon, sooner than later. That is what we want. At the same time, the, the mood coming out from the other states is that their interest also should be protected. I think it's fair enough. There has to be some, there is apprehension. I think that is fair enough. And it is the duty of the government of India now to go and resolve this problem. Kuraiza Mathoba, uh, Abhi, what is the road ahead according to you? How do you expect things to move? Uh, uh, are, I mean, have you already received any communication from the government of India? No, not yet, not yet. But uh, our state, our in our last meeting with the Honorable Chief Minister and his cabinet colleague on 3rd of October, uh, they have told us that uh, there will be a, an invitation from the Ministry of Home, Home, Home. and uh, in that meeting only we have uh, put on the condition that it should come with the uh, agendas and the. Uh, items or the topics on the points to be discussed uh, so that we could do some homework and prepare it properly and another aspect is the government of india need to be transparent while dealing this issue because if they want to do something uh, concerning the state of manipur then they cannot bypass the state of uh, state government and the people they cannot simply you know arrange something just at the whims of few Nation, I am, uh, you know, Nation, I'm leaders, and that is not legitimate. Okay. So they okay. have to take on board to all the stakeholders. Right. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chongtham Bizoy, uh, in the end, finally, uh, you know, uh, is the Manipur government, uh, you know, ready to write to the center that there should be no deadline uh, to the signing of the agreement? That's what you have said very, very clearly. Uh, do, do you think the Manipur government is going to write to the central government that there, there should be no deadline as such? No, we will do that. But I also want to end the insurgency very soon. At the same time, things should not be rushed at prematurely. You see, among the three states bordering Nagaland, Manipur is the worst victim of this Naga insurgency. Because for the last 20, 25 years, our highways has been blocked many times, making such a disastrous effect on our economy. At the same time, unlimited extortion on our trucks. And uh, we have felt that all the political party also included in their memorandum to the Honorable Prime Minister and Home Minister that before concluding and after concluding this peace talk, the state of Manipur should be duly compensated because we have suffered a lot. We are slightly different from the Arunachal Pradesh and from Assam as per relation with the insurgency in Nagaland. Okay. The extortion okay. you see, I'm running short uh, of time. it has been so immense and it has it, it caused us so much difficulty. You must have heard of the 
indefinite blockade on the highways many yes. times over. And yes. how we have suffered. Yes. We have paid petrol for rupees 200 per liter for so many months. Absolutely. So many queues, so many men are lost. Right. Right, yes, yes. So, uh, Athoba, we are the worst yes. victim. Uh, Kuraizam, and, uh, tell something very quickly. Kuraizam. One last point from my side. Yes. One last point from our side. Yes. Yeah. See, uh, to, to have an in initiative from the ministry side, from the government of India side, it is, it is really late because the situation is now getting very critical here. The relationship with Kokomi and the state government is now deteriorating. And today, in a press conference, we have already declared that there will be no more any formal meeting with the state government. And any kind of communications will be now through media. And it's, a, it's because the government has failed to fulfill whatever we have, you know, uh, agreed in our last meeting with the state government. They are yet to come out with a special assembly session. They are yet to disclose any information related with the concluded final peace talks. Therefore, the people of the Manipur is not really happy with the way the state government okay. has been dealt okay. or okay. being, you know, so, treated by the right. center. Got your point, so, got your point. The breaking news this, once the again, center should be very the breaking cautious. point once again, another big point take away from this discussion is that the Kokomi is making it very clear that there will be no more formal talks with the state government. Any contact between the agitating Kokomi groups as well as the government will be through the media. That's what Kuraizam Atoba is saying. Uh, well, I'm running short of time. Samudul Bhattacharji, last point. Now, do you agree that the sake of permanent peace, for the sake of peace in Northeast, the interest of all the eight states needs to be protected? Samudul. See, two, two things. Again, I'm repeating. Uh, we want that uh, the ongoing peace process with the Naga issues, that should be uh, settled in a peaceful, honorable, acceptable way. So that peace can uh, prevail yeah. in Asa, uh, North, Nagaland and other parts of the Northeastern region. Because yes. we want a peaceful, honorable, acceptable solution. And for that, for that, the, uh, the apprehensions which is there in the minds of the people of Assam, Manipur and Arunachal, that should be resolved. All right, all right, uh, Samudal Bhattacharji, uh, I'll have to cut you there. Dr. Okhil Ranjan, that, uh, your final I, comments. I, Yes, Okil. I, I have three suggestions. Very Please quickly. Give me, uh, one minute time. Very one, quickly. The honourable honourable prime minister should talk to honourable prime minister should, should talk to all chief ministers of North East India one to one. The home minister should talk to all governors one to one. And third, and which is very important, the external affairs minister, Mr. S. Joy Songkor, should talk to all members of parliament of all states of ruling party as well as of the opposition to take the pulse of the people. I think that All is right. that is give some right. kind of Three specific suggestions from Okhil Ranjan the the Last the comments, religion. Jarpum Gamling, final comments, very quickly. Please join Kavya. 10 seconds, okay. Jarpum Gamling, final yeah, comments. Hello. Sir, 10 seconds. Oh, okay, now, final points is uh, true, true or false. If, true or false, if there is a idea of autonomous council to be given, then my point is that it should be within the state of Arunachal Pradesh in the name of cultural integration, in the name of uh, 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 territorial integration. The autonomous council right. for Tirap Changlang Longdeng should not be given to any other states. Okay. That's, okay. that's my third point. Okay. Okay. Takam Tatung ji, ant mein ab kya kahenge? Das second. Final comments. Hello. Last comments. Takam Tatung ji, ab. Haan. Kya bolna Haan. chahenge ab? Haan. Last minute. Main chahunga ki, main chahunga ki, main chahunga ki central government agar is cheez ko jabardasti karna hai, to state ka chief minister ko confident lena hai, aur people of Arunachal ka admi right. se confident lena hai. Take Otherwise, the people uh, in... Otherwise, cheez jo hai, law and order problem aas sakta hai. Take the people into confidence. Finally, 10 seconds to you, uh, Mr. Wanglet. Peace is essential for development and growth, so we require urgent peace. It has been the 23 long years of negotiation. As regard to autonomous council, right. we have submitted that it should the, all funding should be directly from centre when okay. we created. So therefore, this autonomous council, if given to Tirap Chandler and Londin, it should be directly from the government of India. 
Okay, it's very interesting suggestions there. Uh, it is a, this has been a very engaging discussion. This is, of course, not the last word. We'll carry on with this conversation. And at the end of the day, of course, we want settlement to the Naga problem. At the same time, we want that the government of India should address the apprehensions and concerns of the people in the three states. On this note, I end this edition of Northeast Tonight. I thank all my panelists for being here. Good night and good morning.